Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here, back today with another video, back today with some more Black Ops 2 news, all after E3 yesterday. Yesterday was the kind of big unveil, they actually had the Microsoft conference over in E3, over in LA, I know a few people have actually gone, I wasn't actually lucky enough to go over there, it's not really something I could manage to do, but I wanted to kind of get all the information today for you, break down and let you know what's going on. So Black Ops 2, we're getting more and more of a look at it, and it's looking really good, you know, the first thing that was actually announced wasn't actually the most positive things for all the users, and it's about the DLC, and I did a video a couple of months ago actually saying that looks like the kind of deal that means that the Xbox 360 guys actually get the DLC before the PS3 guys, I thought that that deal would actually kind of cease because it did actually expire later this year and actually when the first trailer came out it didn't have Xbox 360 at the end of it how it actually had in previous years but that was one of the first things that was actually announced saying that Xbox 360 will be getting the DLC before the PS3 guys next year so that's a little bit disappointing you know mainly actually play on the PS3 so disappointing for me but for you Xbox guys you know you get the exclusivity and that's pretty much from kind of paying for Xbox Live you know Xbox and then a to go and kind of approach Activision and say we want our Xbox guys to get it before PS3 so you know at the end of the day it's kind of just good business sense for them to actually kind of accept that money for the exclusivity so that's disappointing from the PS3 guys but I suppose a little bit of a positive for the Xbox guys it probably means again there's going to be a lot of confusion about who gets what maps when so next year I'm going to be breaking down all the DLC like I have this year I'm going to actually be covering June's DLC in the next few days so watch out for that next is mainly about the campaign and I'm not too sure whether to get too hyped up about the campaign I would say that from seeing it this is probably going to be you know, a good campaign. I'm going to complete it, I hope. I didn't actually complete Modern Warfare 3's campaign. I can kind of say that now. I didn't actually complete it, but this one looks really good. You know, there's, uh, I've told you a little bit, little bits and pieces about the campaign before, you know. There's, you can make choices, you know, there's different story lines, kind of different story endings, judging from how you perform. So it's going to be quite interesting, and it's interesting to see Triarch's take on kind of future warfare, because recently we've actually only seen Infinity Ward's take on it. So it's going to be good. A few kind of graphical upgrades and a lot of new guns, which I'm going to be covering in my kind of Black Ops 2 weapon series over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, that's how the campaign's shaping up. If you guys actually want any details about the campaign, you know, I think there are things out there about the campaign that I kind of know that you guys probably don't know. So if you guys actually want details about the campaign, let me know in the comments below, you know. Obviously wouldn't want to give any spoilers away, but I kind of know the gist of the campaign and kind of what's been going on from watching all the kind of interviews with like Mark Lamia, the Activision guys, and just doing kind of a lot of reading about that. So let me know if you guys would want that. Also, there's something that you PC guys will be pleased to hear. This show actually came out a couple of days ago, and this was that Black Ops 2 actually has a dedicated PC team and the PC version of the game has actually been built from the ground up. And this is quite good because I think kind of PC gaming is getting a lot bigger. It's really grown in the last couple of years. And to be honest, I think in the past Call of Duty's, you know, the P the PC players have been quite kind of neglected, if you can even say that, you know. All the DLCs have come really late. They haven't even had kind of Call of Duty Elite this year. And just generally the treatment, you know, the hacking and stuff like that, it's a, quite bad on the PC. From what I've heard, you know, I actually don't have much experience in PC gaming, especially not in Call of Duty. So it looks like it's going to be a good year for you. So that's it for PC. Also with the PS Vita, you know, I actually did a video again a couple of months ago saying that the kind of Call of Duty was actually going to be coming to the PS Vita later this year. It wasn't clear at the time what game we would be getting, but it's not going to be Black Ops 2. It's actually going to be a separate game, kind of a standalone game called Declassified. And not a lot of details are known, you know, it's just kind of, so this is going to be called Declassified. It actually looks a little bit like, it could be maybe a little bit like Black Ops, but I'll actually let you guys know a few details about that as time goes on. But that's, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, for the PS Vita guys. Personally, you don't have one, but, you know, if it's really good, might have to get one. Check that game out as well. So, you know, that's generally what we had from kind of E3, you know, there was a lot of kind of campaign stuff, and with the campaign stuff, a lot of it is not actual gameplay, you know, it's cutscenes and stuff like that, so, I know, it's looking good, you know, a lot of things are going to actually change from kind of now to when the actual game begins, but I'm really liking it, I'm liking the way it looks, and I'm really pumped up to see all the information we get over the next couple of months, so, it's going to be a really good couple of months, I'm really looking forward to kind of giving you guys all the latest information as it comes out, and talking of latest information, I actually came across a screenshot just a couple of minutes ago, and this is actually a screenshot, I believe, from on the sandbox game modes, and this is kind of something different, these are going to actually be add-ons to the campaign, this is the kind of thing that I talk about when I'm saying you guys want some information about kind of the campaign, so there's going to be sandbox game types, and that's when you actually can control anyone on the battlefield, and this image right here is actually from that, and you can see the gun is actually on there is an XM8, and to the left it looks like the guy's got a saw, you know, that's just it for the guns, this is actually a mission based in Singapore, and in this type of mission, you can actually control anyone on the battlefield too. So you can control the guy in the middle, as you're doing right now. You can switch to the guy on the left who's got the sword. You can actually even play as the quad rotors that are in the air. So that's really interesting. This is a new 
new kind of image showing you a bit of the kind of level so that's looking good and you know really you know they're doing something different they're kind of trying to innovate this year and that's something that i think is really going to go down well so and guys that's about it for this information i'm going to be probably covering that x-ray sniper rifle tomorrow in a bit more depth in my kind of black ops 2 weapon series so so make sure you stick around for that one and make sure you check out my previous two videos got a couple of those on screen right now apart from that guys i just want to say a big thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys with another video very soon objective parameters obtained